Hey guys, this is Steve. I'm with Joe and we're metal detecting 207 and today we have a new permission out in Dresden, Maine and we're on this amazing spot guys. I mean we have all this field out here, this old barn. That peninsula goes out to the river. So Joe's out with the owner's son out here and I thought I'd show you guys the uh he just found a little bell so he's on the conestoga belt again but let's see what we got here you good being on video i'm fine all right awesome so if i wasn't i'd have turned away <laughs> okay that's awesome so joe just dug this guy 27 28 and pulled Is that this a Actually, it, it's uh, it doesn't have a dinger on the bottom either. Look, it did, it does or it doesn't. Does not. It's like a, it looks like a shape like a bell. It's a nub. It looks like a bell. It's got a hole in the top. I know, I know, but it doesn't Could have it that be like hollow. Like a candle snuffer. Could be. It's not an ox knob. Nope. It's, it's threaded. Th yep. That's cool though. Yeah, I'm thinking like a candle snuffer thing too. I don't know. Clean that out. It's threaded, so it's almost like it was a knob or, or something that screwed into a something. Fix, a fixing or something. Yeah, it could be a plant. Could that be like a lamp stand base? It's possible. Yeah, that's cool though. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's a good number. I haven't seen a 27, 28 yet. So, like I said, we got this field. There's horses out here, chickens, sheep, and horses. Horses and dogs. Big dogs. What type of dogs were they? Irish wolfhounds. <laughs> Irish wolfhounds. You gotta see the size of these things. If that's right, you gotta see the the size of these dogs later on. I mean, if they were to jump up, they'd go over my head, over six feet. There, the, I've never seen dogs as big as this in my life. So, uh, but we're here with the owner and her son, and we're gonna just try our luck. And if you can see way down, way down is the river, and it runs all the way on the side. There's an old tennis court over here, and we're just. Uh, we're just trying our luck here and see what we can get, but I found a penny so far. It was just a Lincoln. So on that note, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted if I run into anything else. So roll the credits. All right, so it's been a little while. We tried another part of the lawn, and Joe has something to show. Oh, wow. You see the fancy on that? Believe it or not, that rang as a 10, 11. Unless there's something else in a hole. That's a button. Beautiful button. Yeah. That This right here is what makes metal detecting with like finding uh, Yeah. Relics, the, the fun part. Mm-hmm. To be in the plug? Oh, I didn't know if there was something else in there, but run that over the coil, would you, for a second? It's a 10. That's it? That's a, yeah. It's it'll got some got some nice design on the back of it, too. It'll Congratulations. It'll to 11. Yeah. Let's have a look-see. I'm going to clean it a little better. Of course. All right, awesome. Well, I'm going to check out this apple tree, then... Work my way around. Hey guys, um, we're still out here in Dresden. Uh, I just found a uh, a British coin copper. It was smoked. I'm not sure what it was for uh, King George or not, but uh, I gave it to the owner. 
And it, believe it or not, I have found today two water nozzles. So I have all the things to find. Uh, so now I'm out behind the barn. We were over at the house. Here's the barn, sheep in here. There's some horses out in the woods over here, but we've got this whole field area. And I'm gonna see if I can find some crotobels or some coins, but right now I found like 11 cents. And I know there's gotta be more out here. There's gotta be more. So um, we're gonna just keep going. I got my 11 inch coil on still. Um, beautiful day out. I got my tick guards on, which are these wonderful things right here. And just to keep the ticks away, but I'm gonna try to stay in the shorter areas and wait for them to mow the, uh, the rest of it. Joe's gonna come back down here, take down some trees and bushwhack and uh, get the rest of this field done for the owner so that way we can enjoy it. So, you know, with that said, I'm gonna see if I can stay away from the house. There's some trashy numbers. I was getting a lot of, uh, uh, what is it? Like roofing sheet metal stuff. This thin, very high number, very, uh, very high tone, high numbers, like 38, 39 on the Equinox. So I'm gonna dig that and beyond that, I got a couple pennies and a dime that was bent in half. So if I see anything else, I'll let you know. Until then, see what I can find. Hey guys, it's Steve. I uh, just dug a hole, went down. Oh, there's more in here too. Oh boy. Okay, just got a coin. It's green. And I'm gonna let this dry, but it looks like a an older one versus what we've been digging up. And possibly, possibly. Oh yeah, it could be an Indian head penny. So I'm gonna keep that here for a moment and see what else I got. I'll be back. Hey guys. Um, yeah, these, we're out here in the back. We're trying to just detect in the uh, smaller areas that are not so long with hay. And I just dug a plug right there. And I ended up getting a coin that's really crispy. Oh, it came out good. It's coming out good. Yeah. It's That's facing it. to the left, too. It's a king? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see writing on it. Yeah. Oh, here nice. we go. Hi, buddy. Look at all the size of these dogs, guys. Let me just make sure. Irish wolfhounds. Are Irish these? wolfhounds. These things are huge. huge. There's like four of them here. Yeah. This is, the, this is the one that's like a year old right here, guys. Hey, guy. This thing is like a little horse. Hey, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Here's your mama, huh? These things came at me earlier today. And I've never seen a dog this big before, guys. Go get him. This is mother right there. And there's four of them up there, so. <laughs> Biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. Back, guys. All right, guys, I need your help. Okay, I just cleaned this coin off. This King George. Now, check this out. There's the bust. And it looks like it says AU Auditory. But on the back... I cannot tell what that is. It doesn't look like a pertain. Uh, it, I can't tell what it is. It's got wording all around it. I don't see a date. Of course, it would it be on the flip side. So this is if this is the top. What is that?
So, with that being said, if anybody can help me out with that, is it a state coin? Did they make state coins with King George's with uh, British coins? So just let me know. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, it's uh, getting late. We're in the sheep pen, trying to get out of here. Might get some Chinese food on the way home. And Joe's feeling a strong signal. He's calling the shot. We're gonna see how this uh, episode ends. Up, oh, he's marking a spot. Ah, I'm not really feeling it. No? Not on this one, no. Well, I just got a quarter out of the, of the ground and didn't record it. You got a, I got a silver but, dime and didn't record it. Yeah, I was too far away. Yeah, we end up splitting up. Seems like we get going and we try to look for the uh, hot spots and once we do, we call each other over, but it's... Wow. And that's nice nice soil right there. I think it's mostly poop and... Poop and uh, poop debris. And soil mixed together. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Get in there. Uh huh. Looks like a nail. Is that a nail? No. Nope. Break it apart. See if there's anything else in the hole. What do you got? It's a, it's like a pair of scissors. Really? No, it's a, it's oh, a, it's it's a, a harness uh, leather strap that, yeah. that latches on. That would be the loud signal. The loud. Hey, 25. at least it's a relic, right? Is that a relic? No, well, not really. Modern. Still works. Is it a spring strap? Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. Yep. Nice. Call well, you, call your boat with that. <laughs> it's big enough, though. <laughs> See you guys later. We'll, we'll be here again some other time. And After I bush hog the field. Yeah, Joe's going to bush hog the field. And <laughs> the horses are coming back in from the shade. We have people joy boating down on the river. And we're uh, amongst the sheep, so... We'll get out of the way. See you guys.